got a number of calls, of course, from the schools, um, you know, seeking assistance in terms of um, students panicking, wanting assessment to be done of their structure. So we responded to approximately 32 of those calls. Uh, we had two collapse, three collapse structure in that um, number, one in Rambling St. Thomas, we had a derelict building in, on Church Street downtown, and of course there was a structure in Portland um, that got damaged as well. Uh, what we observed from our assessment in terms of how um, persons would have conducted themselves during and after the event, it tells us that we have a bit of work to do in terms of our public education campaign. We would want to encourage persons to continue to practice their, um, their earthquake drills. We are hoping as a fire brigade to assist in that regard. We believe it's critical that in light of the fact that there is no early warning for earthquake, our best chance of survival is preparation and all of us need to take that seriously. At police emergency, we were able to continue our responses. We got the calls coming in from members of the public through to 119. We were down, let's say, for about um, 10 minutes. However, um, our police network was up and running throughout the period and continue to be. So our emergency response um, remained the same in terms of our coordination. The members of the Jamaica Constabulary Force like the JDF is also trained to support um, in terms of evacuation, um, search and, and response. During the earthquake our operations continued. We had no interruptions in how we postured across the country. Um, we were able to still continue our daily operations in terms of patrols, etc., and assistance to the JCF. We have teams of firefighters out in the field still conducting assessment, um, working in conjunction in some instances with the municipal corporations, making sure that persons are assured in terms of their, their building, whether or not it's safe for them to reoccupy. Uh, from a fire safety perspective, but also from a structural perspective, we'll work along with the engineers who are available to us. The JCF remains committed to the security of our nation and it is through partnership that we will survive um, events like these. We also stand ready to assist um, as we maintain a disaster assistance response um, capability that allows us to assist where required as directed by the government and the headquarters. Our fire prevention branch is available you know, to, to come and, and work with you to one, update your plan, but also assist you in conducting drills. We recommend that you conduct drills at least twice per year.